Now at 5, the morning continues in Uvalde, Texas, as the President and First Lady visit and speak with the families. All of this amid lingering questions into the delayed response by police. And gunfire erupts at a Memorial Day festival, leaving one dead and several others hurt. What authorities say led up to the overnight shooting in Oklahoma? And locally, a young man fighting for his life in the hospital tonight following a head-on crash in Orange County. The help that his family is asking for. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 5 o'clock. I'm Richard. And hi there. I'm Courtney Frail. President Biden and the First Lady visited Uvalde, Texas today to mourn the loss of the victims and promise action in the wake of the tragic shooting. Yeah, a crowd actually chanted, do something, as the Bidens were leaving the church to spend time with the families, to which the president then responded, we will. Carlos Sassetto is live in our news center tonight with what that promise could mean. Carlos. Working for good afternoon. Facing mounting pressure, Texas lawmakers have already signaled they would take action to make schools safer. But it still remains to be seen what changes will come to gun control, if any. 21 families are still coping with the loss following Tuesday's mass shooting. While the president and first lady grieve with the community, the Department of Justice says it will review the police response.